Hi guys, today I'm on London's Regent Street. I've got a pair of old Timberland boots that I wear mainly in winter. They're comfortable, they're waterproof and they're great in ice and snow. But I wore them while riding my motorbike quite a bit last winter and it's taken its toll on the leather. So I'm here on London's Regent Street to visit Timberland store and get some products to restore the leather. They've recommended a product called Waximum, so let's go and try it. Okay, so let's get started. Here are my old Timberland boots and the Timberland Waximum Waxed Leather Protector. I'm also going to need a soft cloth and a brush to give them a quick clean with. As you can see, wearing them on my motorbike last winter has taken its toll on the leather and they're looking pretty worn and tired, especially at the front. First thing I'm going to need to do is remove the laces so I can apply the wax inside and also so I don't wreck the laces. Okay, I'm not sure if you can make that out, but there are some directions for use on the back. It says apply to clean, dry shoes, accessories or apparel. Test on a small area before full application. Work well into leather to restore lost oils. Do not buff, not suitable for suede or new buck. Keep out of the reach of children. Okay, I'm just gonna give them a brush to make sure they're completely clean to remove any loose dust and dirt before I apply the waximum. I'm gonna use a selvit cloth to apply the waximum. You can use any soft cloth. Duster would probably be great. I'm gonna use a selvit cloth because they're, they're used for polishing jewellery so I've got quite a lot of them I've got a few old ones and they're actually used by the British Army to ball their boots before they go on parade because they found them to be the best thing to polish shoes with so as I've got a few it can't hurt to use one okay I'm just going to apply some waximum to the cloth then work it into the boot in a circular motion I then work panel by panel over the entire boot it took me around 20 minutes to do the two boots so to save you enduring watching that in real time, I've speeded it up for you and we'll just jump to the finished polished boot so you can see the results. I think the results are pretty amazing. The boot was very tired if we compare them side by side to the unpolished boot. The leather on the front especially, it was discoloured and very worn. The Waximums not only restored some of the colour to the front, it's given the whole boot a new shine and luster. The boot's a little bit darker than it was originally but I quite like that. Right, I better get started applying the Waximum to the other boot. Again, I'll speed the process up so you don't have to endure it in real time. As you can see, the results compared to when we started are pretty amazing. The Waximum's completely exceeded my expectations of what I thought it would achieve. So now I just need to lace them up and they should be good to go for another winter. Now the instructions do say not to buff them, but I am going to buff them around the tops, the areas that will be in contact with my trousers to remove any excess wax. So if I don't buff them with the cloth, then my trousers are going to do it. And I'd rather the excess wax was on this cloth and not on my trousers. But I think the results pretty much speak for themselves. If you've got a pair of old, tired leather boots, I'd thoroughly recommend Timberland's Waximum to give them a new lease of life. If you like this video or found it useful, please hit the thumbs up like button. And if you'd like to be the first to see my new films, the subscribe button. Toodles.